In March 1989, the entire province of Quebec, Canada was hit by a nine-hour power blackout. Three days previously, disruptions of the sun's magnetic forces had caused a coronal mass ejection, a huge explosion propelling the superheated burst of charged particles and electromagnetic fluctuations towards Earth. It caused auroras as far south as Florida and tripped circuit breakers on Quebec's grid. Solar storms this extreme only strike about four times a century, but the sun's magnetic turbulence causes more frequent solar flares, which release vast amounts of electromagnetic radiation into space. Powerful flares can damage satellites, communication systems, aviation equipment and power grids. The planet is also bombarded with so-called cosmic rays, high-energy subatomic particles, mostly protons, from the sun and beyond our solar system. As these collide with atoms in the atmosphere, they create cascades of secondary particles. On rare occasions, these hit computer chips and cause a bit to flip from zero to a one or vice versa. In an election in Belgium in 2003, a cosmic bit flip was blamed for giving one candidate an extra 4,096 votes. As it's virtually impossible to shield electrical systems from cosmic rays, efforts are underway to design circuits which can cope with their effects. One solution for crucial infrastructure is to build processes in triplicate so that all decisions require at least two out of three votes, a technique that NASA already uses to protect computers in space. Since telescopes were invented 400 years ago, scientists have monitored sunspots, areas where the sun's magnetic fields are particularly strong, causing solar flares and other phenomena. While automated systems now track and analyze sunspots using data from ground-based and satellite observations, forecasting lead times are limited by their angle and distance from the sun. NASA's planned solar cruiser spacecraft with its 1,700 square meter sail propelled by solar radiation will allow access to new views of the star, such as close-ups of its poles. Due for launch in 2025, it could revolutionize space weather forecasting.